Well, switching gears now, Fort Hood could soon get a new name after the Naming Commission announced its official recommendation today. That's right. If approved, the name would change from Fort Hood to Fort Cavazos. To tell us more about why that name was chosen and how people are feeling about it, we're joined by Fox 44's Allison Fox O'Connor. Allison. Well, Adam, General Richard Cavazos was the first Hispanic four-star general in the history of the U.S. Army and had a long career of service, but some in the Central Texas area aren't too happy about the idea of Fort Hood changing its name. I just don't feel that it's the thing to do right now unless if they call it with Cavazos have Fort Hood in the name somewhere. That was the sentiment that many Central Texans had when asked how they felt about Fort Hood changing its name. The Naming Commission officially submitted its request to Congress to change the name of Fort Hood to Fort Cavazos. General Richard Cavazos was a four-star general in the United States Army, the first Hispanic soldier to reach that rank in U.S. military history. A tech Texas native, he was stationed at Fort Hood multiple times and even commanded three corps. I don't have a problem with General Cavazos. I think he was a great general and uh, first Hispanic general, in fact. And I think that's very prominent for our area and Texas and everything like that. But, you know, make a monument for him. Don't change the name of something that's been there forever. The Clean League of United Latin American Citizens released this statement today saying, quote, This is a bittersweet moment for our community where we live alongside Fort Hood, soon to become Fort Cavazos, and we are honored to be alive to witness this historic time. While our country remembers Fort Hood as the place where we lost Army Specialist Vanessa Guillen, we have a reason for joy over this base. And the Fort Hood Garrison Commander Colonel Chad Foster stated, quote, It is important to remember that while the name of this post will change, the service and sacrifice by our soldiers, families, and Department of the Army civilians will endure. This incredible legacy is what defines our installation. But for veteran Steve Janix, it's just a way to cover up history. You can't erase history because his history would repeat itself. Things happened in history and it happened for a reason. Congress is expected to make a final decision about the name change of Fort Hood along with the other Army installation name changes in October. In the studio, I'm Allison Fox, O'Connor Fox, 44 News.